Guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to show you this brand new projector by Hisense. Yes, so this is the brand new PX1 Pro by Hisense. It is a 4K HDR triple laser projector. It produces a beautiful picture. So another thing that I like about it is that it has HDMI 2.1 so it supports 4k 120 frames per second or 120 hertz for gaming and of course i'm going to hook up my playstation 5 and also my xbox series x and before i do my full review i just thought of showing you some gameplay so if you're excited about that hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well i'm joster and let's do this All right, guys, so welcome to my cave. This is the Jolster's cave. And this video, I'm going to show you in first person how it looks, how it feels when I am here. Remember, this is not my review video just yet. This is just hands-on experience with this beautiful projector. All right, so just keep that in mind. First of all, I'm going to measure how many inches you need this projector to be away from the wall in order for you to produce this type of image so i have it exactly at 13 inches away from the wall there are a couple of sensors right here that as you guys notice it just turned off the laser beam this is for your own protection but i'm going to turn them off because they're very sensitive even if i'm not close sort of activate themselves so that is the beauty about ultra short throw laser projectors that you don't need a big space as you guys notice this office or this cave is not even that big. So I still have a 103 inch screen with a projector. Oh, one more thing. I also want to give thanks to projectorscreen.com. They able to send me that projector for review. And also want to say thanks to Hisense for helping me out. And they send me their own popcorn recipe that is so cool. I want to save this for later on when my wife comes over so we can watch a movie together. I'm watching the book of Boba Fett. But the thing is that if you guys like to order this projector or a screen or maybe any kind of other home theater uh, product, check out projectorscreen.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video. And also, they can professionally calibrate this projector for you guys so you guys can get this beautiful amazing picture all right so let me hook up the ps5 should be the cable should be here somewhere i think that's it yeah so there are two hdmi 2.1 ports you can use each or either one of them and one of them has eARC for Toby Atmos that is the PS5 let me grab the PS5 controller here it is okay guys so first there's a couple of things that you need to do to in order for you to have a good experience with gameplay let's go into the settings and first the first thing you need to do is go to HDMI format and make sure that you enhance this format so that way you can get 4k HDR and also 120 Hertz don't use standard make sure you do that also another thing that I find important is go make sure you go to picture right here laser luminance make sure the automatic light sensor is turned off otherwise you won't get as bright as a picture and also this laser luminance level it's all the way up to 10 those are pretty basic in my opinion Another thing important is go into a picture mode and make sure that it's an HDR game. That way you get the lowest input lag possible. This projector input lag is around 30 milliseconds, which is really good for a projector. I mean, it's not compared to a monitor or an OLED TV, right? But still, this is a 100 inch, 103 inch screen size and look at this. My God, guys, this game looks beautiful and it feels very responsive i like that that is super important for any kind of gameplay oh what do you need to do i don't even know i already killed some animals here i think i need to restore power 
So I I have to search for for a power for a battery power cell. We need to remove this power cell. Oh my God! This is freaking bright. Oh, there you go. So now I'm gonna get up there, and I need to get to the tall neck. All right, so I think I'm able to make it over here. No, no, stupid, I fell. All right, I am finally on top of the satellite. I'm just waiting for the tall neck to arrive. We are going to get to the tall neck right about now. Yes, whoa, whoa, no. Oh shoot, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. There you go. Yes, we made it. Let's override it. Woohoo! Turn it over here. Oh my goodness. Isn't this sick or what? Whoa! I got my trophy. Mac reveal, yeah! All right, let's get to another game, guys, shall we? Let's do this. All right, guys, so let's play a little bit of Warzone. Look at this beauty. Playing Warzone on a 100-inch screen. Oh, my God. First, I want to make sure that I'm getting 120 hertz, so let's go over here. Yeah, 38, 40, 21, 60, 120 hertz, HDR 10. That is awesome. First time I am doing this, first time I've seen a projector doing this so let's see how it feels right all right so here we go i'm so excited this just feels so cinematic well it's not cinematic it's it's just a game but uh <laughs> oh my god it looks so big that's what she said where should we go let's see if we can go here oh my god look at all these people Oh, I got my first kill or assistant. Dude, I gotta say, it feels just like if I'm playing on the TV, but super responsive. I like this. Feels really good. <laughs> oh my God, this is so big. I like that it's, it's so bright and the picture looks very sharp. I mean, obviously it's not as it doesn't look as good as OLED, but you're not gonna find an OLED that is 103 inches. What if you do, it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars. Very responsive. I was so worried about that because even though it's, you know, 30 milliseconds, it's great for this kind of projector, but it's not the best. Where are these guys? Oh, let me see. My God, they're going to escape. I broke him. Oh, I missed that one. My God, that was good. What? You know, it's three against one. What can I do, right? My God, this is so awesome. It's so super responsive. I like this. And it's gonna be my new, my new projector right here for gaming. I like it. All right, guys, so I just connected the Xbox Series X. Let's go into the settings. Let's see what we have here. Let's go into TV details. 4K resolution, we also have 1080p and 720p. We wanna play at 4K. Also, the refresh rate, we have 60 hertz, and let's switch to 120 hertz. Let's see what happens. Yes, I would like to keep that refresh rate. Nice. So, now let's go into 4K TV details, and as you guys can see, everything works, and there's also no Dolby Vision support. 
I wonder if any time in the future we're going to start seeing Dolby Vision in projectors. Hmm, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because HDR and Dolby Vision sometimes really struggles on projectors. They have to get really bright. But fortunately, this projector does get very bright. I like this. All right, so this is Gears of War. I'm playing 4K 120 hertz. Let me just double check if that is assigned. Yes, 120 hertz. Wow, look at this picture, guys. Looks amazing. It is very bright. That's something that I, I like about this projector. It is very bright. Oh, my friend, you die. Wow, and it is also very responsive. Holy macro, what the hell? You're going down. Ho, ho, ho. Also, I wanted to see the black levels, and so far, look at this. Very, very impressive. Good contrast, too. I like that. But what I'm mostly, mostly impressed is the highlights. HDR really stands out. Man, this feels good. It looks excellent. Obviously, now I'm playing at night, so there is no sunlight coming from anywhere. Yeah! Oh my god! We just won! Alright, so what about SDR, Jolster? Look at this. This is SDR, Standard Dynamic Range, and still looks beautiful. I'm playing Shadow Warrior 3. This is, uh, this game just recently came out. It looks stunning. Look at this view. Amazing. Oh, shoot! Oh, ho, ho! Oh, my God! <laughs> this game is so crazy! But, yeah, guys, even with SDR, this game looks fantastic. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, my God! All right, guys, so finally, this is Forza Horizon 5 right here on the Xbox. Look at this game. Oh, my God. It looks so beautiful. This is how you're supposed to play racing games. Honestly, this is such an immersive experience. I am loving this. Colorful, looks great, and it responds. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Imagine if I had a, a whole kit. You know, like the steering wheel and the pedals, the shift knob. Oh, man. Ooh, what's going on? All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. Keep in mind that this is not my full review. I will still make a full review, which I'm going to cover more of the projector when it comes down to functions, um, how to set it up, all the picture settings and everything. So if you have any questions, if you, there's something that you're interested in seeing from this projector, let me know in the comments below. That way I can cover it for you. On top of that, if you're interested in buying it, there's going to be a link in the description. It sells for $3,500. And I think it's a really excellent choice when it comes down to for gaming, a picture performance, and of course, you know, for movies as well. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Joster out.